least connections load balancing algorithm now what is the meaning of least connection now first thing is the previous two algorithm are a static algorithm it means that whatever decision we will take will not take based on the current scenario will take based on the static scenario means we assume that this is happening and we are not at all considering the current scenario or the or the dynamic scenario but here we we use the dynamic method and we consider all the dynamic or the current scenario so neither the round robin or weighted round robin that take the current server load into consideration when distributing requests right so we are not taking the current server load into consideration the least connection method does take the current server load into consideration and what it will do the current request goes to the server that is serving the least number of active sessions at the current time least number of active session means if we have a server if we have another server so let's say we have given uh, given the server one so request to server one second request to server 2 third request to server 3 fourth request to server 4 fifth request to server 5 server 1 and sixth request to server 2 right let's say we have given like this but but let's assume that server 2 has already already done the response or they have the request will be executed by them but server 1 has only done the request to only one request or they have executed only one request now let's say if seven request seven is coming so what this least connection will do will give this request number 7 to which server server number 2 why because all the active session is over so there is no active session right now and here we have two active sessions it means that this server is busy right now but this server is free right now so the request number 7 will go to server number 2 so i hope you understood what is the meaning of least number of active sessions so the server who is having the least number of active sessions or least number of active requests that particular server will be chosen for the next request so that the load will be balanced so right now there are two requests which are running in that particular server and here one request is running if we use the round robin technique so in that the seven should go here right seven should go here but it is not going here why if it it will go here then this will this server will be overloaded and this server will be underloaded that is not the objective of the load balancer the objective of the load balancer is the load could be balanced among the servers so this is least uh, connections load balancing so as you can see there are request and there are responses it means that the responses has been done and whenever the the request is coming and based on that it will give the uh, responses and who is having the least uh, number of active uh, active uh, what you can say request that will be served as next as you can see the current scenario is there are three active transaction there are 15 active transaction and there are zero active transaction so definitely the next time whenever the request will come we have to choose this particular server right but because we have zero number of active transactions here so this is the right choice for next request so in this particular diagram also you can see server 1 server 2 server 3 server 1 has three active transaction server 2 has 15 active transaction and server 3 has zero active transaction so the next time when request will go it will go to the server number 3 so next request will be served by server number 3
इट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लोड लीस्ट कनेक्शन लोड बैलेंस